Um, I wanted to follow up on the pay to play. And um, I spent some time this afternoon trying to find um, a document that would help people understand the ramifications of pay to play. <laughs> and I found a uh, document which was an inter office correspondence to redevelopment entity, which is council regarding um, an application for Lakeside Business Park LLC. And the purpose of the document was the applicant is requesting a redevelopment agreement. And on that applicant, the planner is listed as Addison Bradley, who contributed $19,340 to PACs from 2007 forward. Attorney John Wade of Wade Long, Wood and Long who's contributed $199,800. And then um, information submitted, there was information submitted by Don Paparone Holmes, who submitted, contributed $6,000. General notes were prepared by Pannoni Associates, who contributed $163,850. Subdivision plan was prepared by Pannoni Associates. I found a Lakeside Business Park LLC document listing the partners of Lakeside Business Park LLC. And they include Dave Pannoni, Vince Pannoni, and Andrew Pannoni. So that's one example of how pay to play impacts government in Gloucester Township. And other examples are uh, Acadia Financial Group, Municipal and Board of Ed Financial Planners, $22,450. All Cover Computer Service, IT PC Vendor, $22,200. Anthony Costa, Zoning Board Solicitor, $21,400. Archer and Grinner, General Labor, Labor Council, $108,000. Bach Associates, Planning Board, Engineer, $155,550. Blue Sky Power, Energy Consultant, $8,800. CES, Engineering Consultant, $204,100. David Carlemier, Township Solicitor, $7,500. Florio and Perucci, Planning Board Legal Services, $11,270. Grand Turk Equipment, Equipment rental, $22,500. Harvey Sternberg, developer, $64,700. Inverso and Stewart, CPAs, $64,400. Kenneth Schatz, Nike-based developer, $8,500. <coughs> also under Kenneth Schatz, Cohen and Schatz, another $4,200. Kevin Castanogla, owner of AP Construction and executive director of South Jersey Port Corporation, $7,000. Jeremy Tyser, also a developer, South Winds, $1,500. Land Dimensions en Engineering, Special Projects Engineer, $7,200. Marksman's Landscaping, $12,600. Marksman's Transport, $6,000. Michael McCann, a for former Planning Board Solicitor, $12,500. Newman Gloucester Reserve, also a developer, $6,250. Parker McKay, Board and Bond and Labor Negotiation Laws, <coughs> 24,200, and it goes on and on. Then we have Chairs and Treasurers of PACs. Mr. McMullen, who's the Chair of the Zoning Board and President of the Black First Pike Regional Board of Ed. Helen Albright-Troxel, who was on the Planning Board and currently is on Council. Frank Dantino, who's on the Zoning Board, was formerly on the Planning Board. Kevin Trigger is on the Zoning Board. Kevin Buccioni, Zoning Board, Supervisor of Public Works, Black Horse Pike Regional Board of Ed, Carmen Scuduzio is on the Zoning Board, Patricia Guevara, um, Anthony Guevara is on the Planning Board and Code Enforcement Officer, Rich Calabrese worked for the MUA, Scott Owen sat on Council, was liaison to the Gloucester Township Housing Authority, Jasmine Robinson was appointed to the Gloucester Township Board of Ed, Michelle Marks is on the planning board. Her husband, Anthony, is on the Gloucester Township Board of Ed. Yep. Your time is up. Thank you. Does anyone else would like to speak? 